And it's time for the Kellogg's Intergrade Iron Woman Rapid Charge. We're chasing final spots here, Jack. And it's more about not missing out than getting in. You don't get anything for winning this one. Well, it's about earning your spot in this final, Josh, and putting your stamp on it, knowing that you're in good condition and you're ready to race in that final Iron Woman event. We had heats earlier today, 15 already through to the final. We're chasing six spots that'll make our 21 woman line up here. Ski off first. The girls are lined up. North Wollongong Surf Club in the background and our first race of the day and there's drama already. Girls are going a little bit sideways and all over the place on the start. Probably not the best start from our starter there and Ali Britton from North Burley on the Gold Coast. She was our last round winner and not a place you want to be in the repertoire. charge. Well Josh, she hasn't continued on her good form so far from Torquay and young gun Hannah Scully is certainly trying to put herself up in the mix. The girls here, it'll be interesting to see. It's like the first round all over again. A couple of them would have had a little bit of time off over Christmas. A few others would have trained hard. And it looks like our leaders there, Dev Halligan on the green, black and white ski. She's had no time off, trained through and got off to a flyer of a ski star. We expect to see that from Dev and Halligan and we have seen it so often. She is very, very strong and very good off the beach. She sets up every single race she's in early on. And Ali Britton, our winner from Torquay, has started to push the pace and take the lead. Ski, swim, board is the order all day long here. So our ski paddles will try and get out in front. You'll expect the swimmers to come very, very hard in that middle leg. And then it's give everything you've got and try not to finish outside the top six. And then you have to come back and do it all over again in the final. So Ali Britton's broken away there. A great little performance from her so far. And I think after winning the last round, you think her expectations may have risen in what she can do here in the summer of surf. Well, I feel like Ali Britton would have expected or probably preferred not to be in this rapid charge at all she would have liked to have qualified for the final through the first three races and unfortunately hasn't been able to do that so she has to come out here she has to put in another good performance like she did at Torquay and stand up and put herself in that final race it really is one of the best parts or one of the best changes we've seen this year in the summer of surf you get rewarded for doing well in the heats in the past it was about getting off the beach well and cruising around qualifying in your top eight top ten this this year one two three go through you've got to get those spots to straight to, uh, run to the final and if you miss out you've got to come back and you've got to do an extra round and it's great to see it's created a real hype around the heats and these athletes are loving it well it gives you a reward for hard work and that reward comes in the form of rest these guys and girls get an extra opportunity to sit back watch the girls struggle and put their foot on the line in these repper charges while they get to sit back have a drink and get themselves ready for the final it's the ultimate reward one less race three times around the cans for these girls we've had to go the extra time and Ali Britton is off and watch this lead extend as a couple of little waves through our back markers are going to shake things up there looks like Maddie Spencer's in there Hannah Scully as well and Ali Britton is off away and around and a famous stretch of sand on the Illawarra there we've had many Kellogg's Nutrigrain Ironman races in the past but it's been over a decade since top level surf sports has been right here on this bit of sand Devon Halligan hard stuff comes around as well. Scully's there and they are our top four. The next two is where things get interesting. The red zone. There's a big group of five and six and already this race is starting to spread out. Well Josh, these girls in the red zone that you talk about are currently really trying to work to put themselves up into a position where they're back in this race. They know they're fighting for positions. They know exactly where they are and who's around them and they need to get to work to make sure they don't find themselves out of position in the final leg. The surf's not huge here but you definitely want to get to the front it's enough to shake it up as we saw in that opening leg a few little waves come through it'll bring through the back markers and the last thing you want to be doing is putting all your eggs in a sprint finish up the beach just to get a spot in the final Ali Britton there really working hard in the swim and I'm going to say it, one of the fittest women in surf life saving at the moment had a great cool and got a goal to finish second and a huge run leg was only outrun by Ali Day in the end and Dev Halligan's used those long legs to wade across the sandbank and jump on her tail. Well extremely impressive there from Devon Halligan to close that gap on Ali Britton which had which she had opened up and extended off the off that first ski leg. Devon Halligan has been hit and miss this summer but she's certainly back and seems to be racing well.
Kirsty Hardstaff from Corumb, and they're really doing her best to catch up in third place. Jade Mickle from City of Perth. Good to have the City of Perth crew come all the way across from Western Australia. They've continued to come for the summer of surf, and we love them here. It looks like Alyssa Pierce as well from Wanda swimming her way into it. So good to see the Wanda girls getting up and involved at the moment. And maybe our top two just breaking away, but the rest of the field starting to bank back up as six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe even eleven and twelve are starting to get close enough if they're good enough. Well, Halligan's done a very smart thing in coming up the inside of Ali Britton and working her way around the can, trying to take the shortest course. It's up to Ali Britton now to try and go with Devon Halligan. If she's going to make sure she keeps herself in a position where she's going to secure a spot in this final race. The problem with these races and these kind of qualifying races is you don't want to go out too hard. You don't want to use all your energy because you know you've got to come back for the final. But if you do that, there's the chance your back, the back markers will come through, maybe pinch your spot. So how do you sort of temper your, your effort in these races? Well, that's surf life saving, Josh, and that's surf sports. And Ali Britton's doing exactly that by sitting on Devon Halligan. She knows she's going to be able to conserve energy, but the girls chasing and the girls behind all know they need to be in the top five. And if we have a look at that, the chase pack is almost on the feet of Ali Britton now. So they've really done the hard work in this swim to make sure it all comes down to that final board leg. Oh, that gap has closed. That gap has closed. It looks like maybe from City of Perth there, Jade Mickle. Hannah Scully doing her best as well. There's a Newport cap in the mix. So these girls pushing very hard, and they know this is moving time. The middle leg of an Iron Woman, this is where you make your move, establish yourself, and then make the last leg easy. Well, it's where you can stand up, Josh, and it really makes a difference between winning and just being part of these races. I guess in AFL, they call the third quarter the premiership quarter. The middle leg of an Ironman, that's the championship third, I guess you'd call it. It's where the moves are made. You probably can't win it here, but you can definitely lose it. And a couple of girls have dropped off the pack at the moment, and maybe it's a race in five on the front. Dev Halligan still half a body length on the left-hand side. That black cap, yellow and green stripes down the centre, and they'll be looking for a wave at this point. North Wollongong not really standing up and offering all that much. As, as I say that, somebody's picked one off. It's just stood up ever so slightly in front of them and pushed down it. And maybe Jade Mickle there from City of Perth. She will stand up with a big lead over the rest of the field. And what a great swim from her. Really showing her how it's done. And now it's time to wade. Well, Josh, call that middle leg what you will. At the end of the day, it is all hard work. And it's the person who can put it all together on the day that's going to get themselves straight to this final. So we're up and around in front. Jade Mickle there being chased hard. Devin Halligan's in the mix there. So is Ali Britton up and around. One board leg left and then we will have our top six qualifiers. Lara Moses there. Hannah Scully as well. So the girls are heading in now and this is where things start to get interesting. There's two, four, six, seven there. Maybe an eighth as well. So Kirsty Hardstaff from Karum and she is outside the top six. So is Brittany Pierce there from Wanda. The girls are on and away in this final board leg with plenty of work to do. And Alex Nolan tries to get moving here and tries to work her way into the top six. Oh, she's got plenty to do, Josh, if she's going to get herself into that iron final. And this is the leg where it starts to get interesting. Jade Mickle, the girl out in front, cops a little one on the head. So she knows she's in a good position right now, but she also knows that she's got 15 to 20 girls chasing her that want to be in the position she is. And one girl you don't want to sprint up the beach there, that's Deb Halligan. It looks like Hannah Scully and Kirsty Hardstaff have made a great little work through that break. Ali Britton there, and that's your top six at the moment. Here comes the race. Things are really getting interesting at the moment as they head out to sea, but Jade Mickle's not hanging around. She's not waiting, and there was a few little waves there that shook that board race up at the moment, and we can see our top six trying to get away from the rest of the field just to earn a place in the final. Well, Abby Pugh is chasing hard from Karawa, Josh. She's in the mix as well, so this race is far from over, as is Alex Nolan. She's still, as we said, got a bit of work to do if she's going to find herself in that final, but she seems to be driving. She seems to be working to put herself in that position. So we've got four in Indian file line. The head's a little bit further back, and maybe that's Brittany Pierce there from Wanda in fifth place. She's hanging on sixth, and we can see another two girls just off the back of them. So that's the red zone there. 
fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. That is your four girls that are going to race for the last two spots at the moment. But there's a little bit of drama for hard stuff around the cans. In fact, it's a lot of drama for hard stuff around the cans. She's let the rest of this field back into it. And then there's another log jam there. So drama are plenty. And this is when you don't want to be making mistakes. Well, it looks like last round's winner, Josh, Ali Britton, has started to fall back through the pack. I think that was her who got caught up behind hard stuff who was stuck inside the can and hard stuff tried to make a move early put herself in the best position but hannah scully really boxed her in or didn't allow her to get that inside run and it may happen here again to hard stuff although hannah scully looks like she's given her a bit more room around that second can good racing there so that on the blue board it's hard stuff the yellow and pink it's scully ali britain's one back from her as well right in the thick of the action there and would this be a boil over our last round winner is outside the top six at the moment as a wave starts to come and it's really working hard there. Alex Nolan tries to get down it. She's just fallen off the back. We see the tail of the board drop and you know who's racing really, really well and we haven't even spoke about it is Jade Mickle. It's been workmanlike for her. Not the best start. She worked her way through the field in the second swim leg and she's gone off the front here in the final board and should pick this little runner up along with one or two other. Scully's on it. Devin Halligan's on it as well. So that's your three and they're through to the final. You three can relax. Well, that's exactly right. They did the work and they've been rewarded for that. Hard staff looks like she's going to get down that one, as does Ali Britton just off the back. So it's going to come down to a run up the beach, Josh, for the final girl into the final race. Oh, this is where things start to get interesting. Alex Nolan's on that wave there. And have a look at the girls here. This is all for one spot. This is what we like to see up and across for Nolan. A little stumble from a few of the girls. One of the two of the girls doing their best and it's out of nowhere. Brittany Pierce, she's got up and around. And an absolute flyer from Brittany Pierce. She was in the top six all the way. Had to work hard for it at the end, but she got there. And poor old Abby Pugh misses out by one spot. So that is our top six. They will head through to the final. And you got to feel heartbreak for the rest of the girls on that wave because they had a shot, but they just weren't quick enough. Well, that's surf life-saving as we see it all the time, Josh. Often waves will bring, bring people through, and it all depends what you've got left and you speed up the beach at the finish to whether or not you'll earn yourself.